गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज श्याम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल डिपार्टमेंट चेब्रॉल इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सब्जेक्ट जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग वन यूनिट थ्री ऑन टॉपिक परमियाबिलिटी स्ट्रेटिफाइड सॉइल्स सो परमियाबिलिटी ऑफ स्ट्रेटिफाइड सॉइल्स in nature the soils are usually deposited in successive layers even if the different layers of the deposit are homogeneous within themselves this may lead to the considerable disparity in the average permeability parallel to the bedding plant that normal to the plating plants Bodily satisfaction can be considered as the horizontal and continuous average friction per flow. In horizontal and vertical direction can be estimated. In horizontal flow, the consider the solid profile. as shown in figure below consisting of there are number of layers with h1 h2 and so on hn these are the thicknesses with their permeability k1 k2 and so on the kn respectively here this is the bed it is taken distance is l and thickness of the k1 and so on kn let h is the total thickness of the deposit here this is the total deposit at and total thickness of the layers so h1 and so on h n this is the number of layers and kh is the average permeability in the horizontal direction assume the total height along the line ab to be constant similarly the total head along cd may be also taken as constant but value will be less than that among b therefore i equal to i1 plus so i equal to i1 equal to i2 equal to and so on i n this is the total discharge through the soil deposit equal to the sum of discharges through the individual layers therefore q equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 plus q4 plus and so on qn so then q in substituted kh i into a so here k1 into i a1 Plus K two I A two plus K three I A three in Q four K four I A four and so on Q N in substitute K N I A N. So then we will cancel the left side and right side A I. So I is common. So then K H into A into K one H one plus K two H two and so on K N H N. Then we'll find K H equal to K1 H1 plus K2 H2 plus K3 H3 plus and so on Kn Hn divided by H value. But H equal to H1 plus H2 plus and so on Hn substitute in this H value. K H equal to K1 H1 plus K2 H2 plus K3 H3 and so on Kn Hn divided by in H value substitute H1 plus H2 plus H3 and so on 
HN. And this equation written as KH equal to sigma KH by sigma H. And next flow is the vertical flow. In this case, flow take place in the direction of perpendicular to the stratification. In horizontal flow is parallel direction in the stratification. In this case, to stratify the continuously condition, so here see the figure. The thickness of the layers H1, H2, and so on, Hn. And flow is perpendicular. Then Q equal to Q1, Q2 equal to Q3 equal and so on equal to Qn. Let it flows through the different layers B, H1, H2, H3. And so on, Hn number of heads. The total head loss delta H equal to H1 plus H2 plus H3 plus H4 and so on, Hn. This equation consider equation one. Next, also let Kv be the average permeability in vertical direction. Now Q equal to KV into I into A. Here I is the delta H by H into A or delta H equal Q into H into KV into A. Now Q value is the final kv into delta h by a or delta h equal q into h into divided by kv into a similarly h1 equal to q into h1 by k1 a and similarly h2 equal q into h2 divided by k2 into a and h3 q into h3 k3 a and HN or HU equal to A into HU or HN KN into A. From equation one, we get substitute in equation one delta H value Q into H divided by KV into A in H1 value Q into H1 by K1 into A plus H2 value in substitute. Q into H2 divided by K2 into A plus and so on in HN value Q into HN divided by KN into A. Or then finally KV value we calculate it. KV equal to H divided by H1 by K1 plus H2 by K2 plus H3 by K3 plus and so on Hn by Kn. These are the two flows, horizontal flow and vertical flow. Next, we will calculate the problem. So write the problem. A horizontal stratified soil deposit consists of three layers. Each uniform in itself. The permeability of the layer are 8 into 10 power minus 4 and 50 into 10 power minus 4 and 15 into 10 power minus 4 centimeter per second and their thicknesses are 6 meters 3 meters and 12 meters respectively 
find the effective average permeability of the deposit in horizontal and vertical directions here in given data three layers are given this is 1 2 3 k1 k2 k3 and thickness h1 h2 h3 is the flow is the horizontal we will calculate it horizontal and vertical flow means directions we are calculated next to kx be the mobility of the soil deposit in the direction flow it is the kx kx equal to k1 h1 plus k2 h2 plus k3 h3 and divided by h1 plus h2 h3 they are given the three layers then calculated the k3 h3 and substituted in equation k1 value and h values using the above equation above values we help so here h1 value is the 6 and h2 3 and h3 is the kilometers next k1 is the 8 in the 10 power minus 4 and k2 is the 10 15 in the 10 power minus 4 k3 is the 15 into 10 power minus 4 substituted in the equation 8 into 10 power minus 4 into 6 plus 15 into 10 power minus 4 into 3 plus 15 into 10 power minus 4 into 12 divided by h1 plus h2 h3 means 6 plus 3 plus 12 then finally 378 by 21 into 10 power minus 4 <coughs> That equal to 18 into 10 power minus 4 centimeter per second. This is the kx. Next permeability in vertical direction ky. It is the horizontal direction. Next permeability in vertical direction ky. Being the permeability of the soil deposit in in the direction of flow ky. it is the horizontal direction h means x direction x direction is the horizontal direction y direction is the vertical direction next we calculate the vertical direction ky equal to kv then form like h1 plus h2 plus h3 divided by h1 by k1 plus h2 by k2 plus h3 by k3 substituted values H1 plus H2 plus H3 6 plus 3 plus 12. Then H1 by K1 H1 means 6 divided by K1. 8 into 10 power minus 4 plus H2 3 divided by 15 into 10 power minus 4 plus 12 by 15 into 10 power minus 4. Then finally 21 into 10 power minus 4 divided by 0.75 into 0.06 plus 0.80. That equal thirty one by one point six one into ten power minus four. Then vertical value is finally thirteen point zero four into ten power minus four centimeter per second. Next second problem. The soil layers below have the cross sectional area of hundred mm by ten mm each. The permeability of the each soil is Ka. Equal to ten power minus two centimeter per second, and Kb three into ten power minus three centimeter per second, and Kc four point nine into ten power minus four centimeter per second. Find the rate of water supply in flow. So in this figure, draw here. Give the delta H equal to 300 mm.
and write the solution. This is the drawing. It looks like horizontal flow, but in reality, it's a vertical flow because the flow has to be crossed through the every layer. So here, see in direction horizontal, but it is flowing in vertical flow. The flow has to be crossed through the every layer, hence every layer has the same velocity. V equal to V1 equal to V2 equal to V3. Then K equation is vertical equation equal to H by K1, H1 divided by K1 plus H2 by K2 plus H3 by K3. That equal to H value is the 450. So here is the 450, sorry. Then H1 value and H2 value, H3 value substitute. H1 is 150. And divided by K1 value is the 1 in 10 power minus 2. And K3, K2, B means K2, 3 into 10 power minus 3. And 14 into 4.9 into 10 power minus 4. And 150 by 3 into 10 power minus 3, 150 by 4.9 into 10 power minus 4. Then finally, K value, 1.2 into 10 power minus 3 centimeter per second. Head loss during the flow HL is the 300 mm. Head loss is the here H flows are H layer, three layers. So here 150 and thickness of the 150 and 150. Then hydraulic gradient I equal H2 by H. So then, hydraulic gradient H2 means H1 plus H2 that equal to 300 by 450 equal to 2 by 3. By Darcy's equation, Q equal to K into IA. K value is the 1.2 into 10 power minus 3 into I value 2 by 3 into 100 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters into A value is the 3600 centimeter per hour then finally q equal to 291 centimeter 291 centimeter q per hour the next problem prove that the satisfied deposits of the soil the average permeability in the horizontal direction is greater than the average permeability in the vertical direction so here is the two layers. In this average permeability of the horizontal direction is greater than to the average permeability in the vertical direction. So here consider the satisfied deposits consisting of two layers of thicknesses H1 and H2 with coefficient of permeability K1 and K2 as shown in figure. So is that two layers K1, K2, and thickness H1, H2. We know the average permeability in the horizontal and vertical directions are given by KH equal to K1, H1 plus K2, H2 divided by H1 plus H2. That equal to K1, H1 plus K2, H2. Then adding H1 plus H2 equal to H. So KV equal to H1 plus H2 divided by H1 by K1 plus K2 by K2 that equal to H1 plus H2 equal to H and H1 by K1 plus H2 by K2. 
therefore k h by k v means horizontal divided by vertical k1 plus h1 plus k2 h2 by h here h divided by h1 by k1 plus h2 by k2 h into h2 divided by multiply h square then take in common h1 square by h2 square finally k1 square plus k2 square divided by k1 k2 into h1 into h2 so finally h1 square plus h2 square plus k1 square plus k2 square divided by k1 plus k2 into h1 by h2 divided by h1 square plus h1 h2 square plus 2 h1 h2 since k1 and k2 are the always positive so k1 minus k2 whole square Less than or equal to zero, or k1 square plus k2 square less than or equal to 2k1 plus k2. Then finally, k1 square plus k2 square divided by k1 k2 less than or equal to two. The above ratio is equal to two only when k1 equal to k2. Otherwise, it is the greater than two. Here, take k1 k2 is different in the above ratio will be greater than two always. K H by K V is the relation. The denominator is greater than denominator. Hence, K H greater than K V. Next, determination of the coefficient of permeability. This is the another topic. The coefficient of permeability of the soil can be determined using following methods. There are three methods: laboratory methods, field methods, indirect method. So, first method is the laboratory method. It is important of the one method. So, in laboratory methods, the laboratory test can be performed on both undisturbed and and remolded samples. The coefficient of permeability can be determined in laboratory by the following methods. There are laboratory method used in three methods. one is the constant head permeability test and variable head permeability test capillary permeability test these are the three methods that are in used in laboratory so first one is the constant head permeability test this test is the prepared for the coarse grained soils such as the gravels and sands the complete setup for constant and per permeometer is shown in figure and observation is taken by collecting a quantity of water in a graduated jar for known as time let volume of water collected in time t is v see the figure from top is the water supply so this portion is water supply and other flow is and it is the constant head reservoir it is a arable plus wall it is the porous disk and sample and length is the l this length is one and and height one is the h1 it is the constant head chamber and here take the sample length is the l outside and height of total height is the h from water supply to the constant head chamber top here discharge q equal to v by t also k into l into i into a equal to v by t 
by Darcy's law or k into h by l into a equal to b by t that is i equal to h l by l equal to small h by l or k equal to finally b into l by a into t h where where l equal to distance between manometer tapping point and a equal to cross sectional area of the sample and h equal to difference in the monometric levels so in this method take the problem write the problem the following data were recorded in a constant head permeability test internal diameter of permeometer equal 7.5 cm head lost over a sample length of 18 cm equal to 24.7 cm quantity of water collected in 60 Seconds equal to six twenty six mL. Porosity of the soil sample equal to forty four percentage. Calculate the coefficient of permeability of the soil. Also determine the discharge velocity and the seepage velocity during the test. And go to the solution. Area of the soil sample A equal to formula pi pi four into d square. Here internal diameter of the perimeter. So diameter D is the seven point five is given. Substitute pi pi four into seven point five square. That equal to forty four point one eight centimeter square. Next one given data h equal to twenty four point seven and l equal to eighteen centimeters. This sample length and t equal to sixty seconds. Next, we will calculate the hydraulic gradient. Hydraulic gradient is indicated I, I equal to H L by L. H L by L means 24.7 divided by length is 18. That equal to 1.372. H means 24.7 and L is the 18.18. So 24.7 divided by 18. That equal to 1.372. Next, we find out the discharge Q. Q equal to V by T. So, means volume here, quantity of the water collected in 60 seconds, 626 mL. So, 626 divided by time is 60 seconds. That equal to 10.433 centimeter cube per second. Next one from Darcy's equation. Q equal to K into I A. Ten point four three three. That equal to K into one point three seven two into four forty four point one eight. K equal to zero point one two seven centimeter per second. This is the from Darcy's equation. We calculate the K value. Next, discharging. Velocity V equal to Q by A.
the discharge velocity v equal to q by a q value is the 10.433 and area is the 44.18 so here we calculated the area is 44.18 and q value is the discharge Ten point four three three. That equal ten point four three three divided by forty four point one eight. That equal zero point two three six. Given porosity of the soil sample, n equal zero point four four. That equal seepage velocity V S equal to V by n. Velocity is the two point zero point two three six divided by n value zero point four four. That equal zero point five three seven. Centimeter per second. Done. These are the porosity of the sample. Next, that is the variable head permeability test. The variable head permeability test is used to find sands and sills which have relatively low permeability. The complete setup for variable head permeability test is shown in figure. After saturation, the standpipe standpipe of area cross section A is filled with the water, and time cross spinning to H1 is the noted down. Now water is allowed to fall H2, and time T2 is noted. It is the constant head chamber. DH standpipe stopcock. Here length is the sand, and H two starting is the falling head is H one. <coughs> Next fall H two is at time T two. Let any intermediate stage water level be H, which falls by the DH in time DT. So the head difference is H. At that stage, let the discharge is Q. Q equal to K into I into A equal to K into H by L into A. Volume of water collection in dt therefore q into dt equal to a into minus dh k into h by l into a into dt that equal to minus a into dh integrating k into integration of t1 t2 dt minus a l by a that equal to limits are heights h1 to h2 into dh by h here time taken then t1 to t2 in here that allows h1 to h2 Then finally, A L by A, integration of H one H two into D H by H. Then final K into K of T two minus T one equal A L by H log of P power E H one minus log of P power H two. Then K into T two minus T one equal to A L by A the log of the P power H one minus log of P power H two. Then A L by A A. Log of e power h1 by h2. It is written as equation. Next, k to l by a t. So t equal to so t2 minus t1. The logarithm of e power h1 by h2. Then finally, k equal to 2.303 into l by a t. Log of 10 h2 1 by h2. Let variable head test is performed in two stages on same soil. If in first stage water level falls from H1 to H2 in time interval t, and during second stage water level falls from H2 to H3 in same time interval t, then H1, H2, and H3 shall be related as H2 equal to the H1, H3. The above results can be used to check the Consistency of test in soil. 
if variable had test be performed in two stages at equal time intervals then above relation should be hold true in each case next problem in this case when a calling had permeability test the head causing fall was initially 90 cm and it dropped 6 cm in 15 minutes how much time is required for the head fall 45 cm solution we know the coefficient of permeability under falling head permeability test is given by k equal to 2.303 al by 80 log of 10 h1 by h2 here h1 is 90 cm so head causing fall was initially so initial means 90 so h1 and it drops centimeters in 15 minutes so next second stage is 6 centimeters drop means 90 minus 6 that is equal to 84 it is the second head loss it means head h2 and time is 15 minutes Therefore, k equal to 2.0303 al by k log of 10 into h1 by h2, or 2.303 al by k that equal to by log of 10 h1 by h2. So, in this equation, substitute 2.303 al by k 15 by k means time interval 15 log 10 by h1 means 90, and h2 is the 84. That equal 500.61. Let T be the time interval in which head falls from the 19 centimeters to 45 centimeters. Therefore, T equal to 2.303 AL by K into log of 10 H1 by H3 and 500 minus 6.61 is the value of 500.61 into log of 90 by H3 45. In this given data. Equal the head fall is 45 centimeters. Then final value is the 150.70 minutes. Next problem: A perimeter of the 100 mm diameter with the sample length of 30 centimeters was used for the constant head and falling head test. By conducting a constant head test, the loss of head was 120 centimeters for the soil sample. And rate of flow was 33.2 cm per second. Find the coefficient of permeability if the falling head test was performed on the same sample at the same void ratio. Find the time taken for the head to fall from 98 cm to 50 cm. The diameter of the standpipe in the falling head test was 25 cm. So. See the given problem. Some data is given in problem. Next, go to the solution. First, constant head test in area of sample A equal to pi pi by four into t square. Here, given the diameter of the sample is pi by three, then pi by four into t square hundred that equal to seven thousand eight fifty four. Mm square. Here is the hundred mm diameter. Next one, hydraulic gradient I equal to h by l. H means one twenty is given. L means thirty centimeters left, and head loss is one twenty centimeters. One twenty by thirty that equal four. Next, using Q equal k i a k equal Q by i a. Q l is the Three point two centimeter square per second. It's converted in meters. Ten power three divided by four into seven thousand eight fifty four. 
that equal to 0 0.102 meter per second. Next one, falling hydro test. Area of standpipe A equal to 0.25 square by 4, that equal to 490.9 mm square. Using K equal to 2.303 PL, log of 10 power H1 by H2. So here, 2 point T equal to 2.303 A by L, K, A by L divided by K, A, log of 10 power H1 by H2. Then finally, T equal to 2.303 into A value is the area, small area cross section of 490.9 and 300 L. 0 0.102 into 7854 cap and log of 10 H1 means 98, HP is the 50, substitute. Then finally T values come out. This is the same procedure for the previous method. It is the constant area test. <clears throat> Next, third method is the capillary permeability test. It is the example problem. This is the last problem in this class. Write the problem. A capillary permeability test was conducted in two stages under a height of 60 centimeters and 180 centimeters. In the first stage, the wetted surface moved 1.5 centimeters to 70 centimeters in seven minutes. In the second stage, the advanced form 7 centimeters to 18.5 centimeters in 24 minutes. The degree of saturation in the end of the test was 85 percentage and the porosity was 35 percentage. Next, in this, determine the capillary height and coefficient of permeability. So here, give the two stages. First one, stage one. And second stage two. Here, stage one under a head of 60 centimeters, H1, and H2 is the 180 centimeters. In the first stage, the wetted surface mode, X is the 1.5 centimeters to x2 is the 7 centimeters <coughs> in 7 minutes means t2 minus t1 equal to 7 minutes with surfaces two surface in changes to 7 minutes and stage 2 in advanced from 7 centimeters to 18.5 centimeters so x1 is the 7 centimeters, x2 is the 18.5 centimeters. Here is the x1 dash, x2 dash. Next time interval in 24 minutes. T2 dash minus T1 dash equal 24 minutes. And here give the end of the test was 85 centim 85 percent as means degree of saturation is equal to 85 and porosity is n equal to 35 percentage. So from stage one, x2 square minus x1 square divided by t2 minus t1 equal to 2k by s into n into x1 by sc. This is the first stage. Then take the head of the one. x2 value means 7 square minus x2 1.5 square divided by t2 minus t1 is the 7 equal to 2k by s value is the 85 means 0 0.85. And n value is the 35 percentage. P equal to, and 60 is the H1 plus HC. K into 60 plus HC equal 0 0.99. Similarly, first stage to x2 1 square minus x1 square divided by t2 1 minus t1. That equal 2k into Sn by H2 head loss 2 plus HC. <coughs> so it is the equation 1. Similarly, x2 by 18.5 square minus. 7 square time interval 24 and substitute to saturation and porosity value. Then finally, k into 180 plus sc equal to 1.819. This is the equation 2 from equation 1 and 2.
we get 60 plus h3 by 180 plus h3 0 0.9936 by 1.819. So 1.819 into 60 plus HC. 1.9936 into 180 plus HC. So finally, HC value is the 84.45 centimeters. Substituting value of the HC in equation one, we get K value. So HC value, substitute 84.45. Then K value is the 6.87 into 10 power minus 3 centimeter per minutes. Okay, clear. This is the third method. Here, give the two stages. Here, calculate the two equations. Then finally, Calculate HC value and K value. Okay, clearly, all of you. Any doubt in this section? Okay, thank you very much.